Hi everyone, it's Simon from High Plane Games with a review of Tetris Effect, out now on PlayStation 4. Uh, this is probably one of the most surprising reviews that I've ever done in my life because it's a game that I was like, oh that looks really really cool and I ummed and about pre-ordering it and my god I'm so glad I did. I've never really been a big fan of Tetris before, I've played it and I've kind of gone, yeah that's okay, but because I've never really got into it and I've never been very good, it's always been one of those games that I just go, oh okay, I'll get beat by everyone and then we'll move on to something else. Um, but Tetris Effect has utterly changed the game for me. I was sold on this on the principle that Tetsuya Mizuguchi was creating the experience. And if you've never played one of his games before, what he does is he takes the audio, visual, sensory feel through a controller and the um, gameplay mechanics merges them all together into an experience that's trying to almost be like a, tr a, a an hallucinogenic drug-like experience taking you to like an alternate plane zen like hedonistic place of being that sounds mega wanky and i know it sounds wanky but when you play Tetris Effect, this is his best example of how this works to date for me. I love Res, I love Luminous, I love Child of Eden, but they all have game mechanics that focus you on needing to think and do something. Whereas with Tetris, because the in initial gameplay is much more simple um, and visually triggered, if that makes sense, because your brain starts to make the patterns for you instead of having to shoot specific things and working out patterns and remembering stuff. You almost get into like this zen state really early on in Tetris and this game is entirely designed to make sure that you hit that experience and that everything revolves around you to push you further into it rather than being um, technically and visually and audibly impressive for impressiveness sake. So, what does that mean? It means that when you create lines of Tetris, the controller will vibrate at the beat that the song is going at. It might be that when the music then changes up, the tempo increases, so therefore the lines come down quicker. And then the visual arrangement around you will then change to evoke even more of a celestial or otherworldly feel. Um, and the way how all of the different stages are put together in quite a spiritual like story that's running underneath that you, you could argue that there is a proper story going on in this game as you're going through because it's all about teaching you to be in the moment enjoy the world around you it's quite hippie like in the way how it, it's going about things but it absolutely adds to the whole feel of the game um, and they draw you out into this bigger experience of feeling like you're at the center of the world and controlling everything around you and I think that's probably where Tetris Effect wins out for me most. Aside from uh, the usual Tetris game, the, you've got two very specific modes here. The first one is Journey Mode and Journey Mode takes place across I think it's 27 different visual and audio places and the idea is to get to 30 lines um, or 60 or 90 I believe if you change the difficulty up and what you do is as you move through this you clear more lines, the song progresses, usually the thing gets faster because the track is building up to like a massive climax for you to hit that um, clear line rate and explode into the next world. Uh, but it will go in peaks and troughs, so if you're having like a build-up experience and then it's having like a ah, moment, then it will slow back down and like, right, now it's time. Journey mode also introduces this uh, zone mechanic, and what that means is that if you hit one of the shoulder buttons on the DualShock, uh, the game freezes and you can clear line after line after line after line, but you've got a short break as the zone basically fills up underneath you to get to the end of something and clear out the decks essentially. Those lines don't contribute to the amount of lines that you're actually closing overall but it does improve your score, clears out all of the stuff underneath so if you find that you've got oh god loads of mistakes underneath, great way to clear it all out. Each of the 
Uh, different layouts can then be unlocked and used as in a normal Tetris game, but the zoning mechanic actually kind of stays in journey mode, and that's probably the only criticism I have of this game, is I'd like to be able to take out that zone mechanic and just play with it in general as its own standalone Tetris mode as well. In effects mode, that's where you've got different variants of Tetris. So it might be trying to get as many all clears from predetermined layouts as possible. There's ones where you clear infected or bomb blocks, and you have to do that before they explode underneath. Uh, there's also like little meditative playlist versions. So you've got like a Zen one for being underwater or in the air, so that you can just chill out without worrying about having it go to game over and if you do lose out and it gets game over and you've filled up all of your blocks you can just restart from the bottom and you lose the score that you've got but it's a good way to just kind of have a chill out tetris mode um, whilst there's no specific multiplayer which kind of feels a bit weird in tetris because that's mainly how i played the game before um, what you do have is weekend rituals and that's where the game picks out a specific type of game that you want to do so it might be playing marathon mode where you've just got to keep going for as long as possible or it could be clearing as many lines within about three minutes um, or some of those more technical ones like clearing bomb blocks and stuff and you're all pushing together to get to an end goal and when you do that you unlock celestial avatars that then swim around the world and you see other people that are playing with you at the same time tetris effect but there's no interaction so you're just swimming around the planet with them um it's a bit of an unusual experience but i have to say um i've not missed multiplayer mode at all with Tetris Effect because I'm so drawn into the experience um, it's almost like if there was another player playing that I don't think it would be sensory overload but I think it goes against the very ethos as to what Tetris Effect is pulling together maybe if it comes later on down the line I'd be very happy with that um, but what's here is perfectly fine for now so I feel like I've really rambled on and I hope that makes sense uh, Tetris Effect is easily one of the biggest recommendations that I've had in gaming for the past couple of years. It's taken me by utter surprise and it is all positive. Uh, I've only played it in non-VR so I can't comment on the VR mode because I don't have PSVR. But I have been absolutely blown away and yeah, I'll be buying the soundtrack when it comes out too. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll try and put some more gameplay on the channel because I'm absolutely in awe of this game. And it's one of those things that I think you won't understand it until you play it and feel it. Um, and you'll be in the zone. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.